Welcome back. It's the most common type of dementia, and almost 6 million Americans are living with it right now, Alzheimer's disease. And this week's What's Going Around June is Alzheimer's Brain Awareness Month, and we're learning from a local physician what we can do to keep our brains healthy and active. It's heartbreaking for those around them and the patients themselves, the memory loss, confusion, personality and behavior changes that come along with Alzheimer's disease. We have a kind of buildup of a certain protein in our brain that then causes our brain to be unable to process information properly and thus impacts our memory. And when our memory is impacted and our cognition is impacted, it then subsequently impacts the way that we are able to interact with the world around us. Jean Guan is a doctor of geriatric medicine at Cox Health. She says Alzheimer's disease can be a long progression, taking almost eight to 10 years before a patient reaches severe dementia. But in the beginning, there are things to watch for. Getting lost while driving in a familiar place is something that really always needs to be evaluated further. Forgetting not sort of distant relatives uh, and who they are and how they're associated with you, but maybe grandchildren. Symptoms of the disease can first appear after age 60 and the risk goes up from there. Dr. Guan says there are ways, though, to reduce your risk for Alzheimer's. Yeah, so my general rule of thumb is what's good for your heart is good for your brain. So we're talking about eating clean, eating healthy, avoiding the processed foods. We're talking about staying physically active. And she says exercise your brain too. Being socially engaged we have seen is somewhat protective. Having a good social network and kind of um, having people around you and communicating in that way can be important for maintaining those skills, even if you do get diagnosed with the disease. And she says it's important to look after caregivers for Alzheimer's patients as well. If you are for a loved one with dementia, you are not alone. Um, and there are going to be some days that are worse than others, but you can always reach out. There are support groups. I know the Alzheimer's Association has a great one. And if you are a caregiver for an Alzheimer's patient and you need support, there's resources right here in our community through the Alzheimer's Association. Like she just said, there is a Springfield and surrounding area resource group. So this is their Facebook page and that has different resources available. And then also you can head to the Alzheimer's Association's website. They have a 24 hour helpline if you need to talk to somebody and they also have a community resource finder as well so that you can find different things where you live. So we'll post links to those under this story at KY. 3.com.